Good afternoon. Uh, we have the program The Way of the Truth on the air of uh, T Novorossia TV, and we have the guest from Germany here. Introduce yourself, please. Um, guten Tag. My name is uh, Tobias Pfennig. I'm from the Anti-Imperialistische Aktion. Um, our organization is an anti-fascist and anti-imperialist uh, movement and uh, we stage, for example, demonstrations in uh, Munich against the visit of Ukrainian President Poroshenko mm -hmm. um, to our city and our country. How and many times Poroshenko visited your city? Mm. My city uh, once, I think, um, but um, we already had, for example, last year a so-called mini-Maidan in our city uh, organized by Ukrainian fascists, and we were also protesting against that one. And people uh, were against this visit, yes? Yes, there were a lot of people who were against that visit. Okay, tell me please, with which purpose have you arrived here to Novorossia? And how did you get there? Was it difficult? Um, I arrived with uh, a so-called anti-fascist caravan, which was um, organized by the uh, Italian band Banda Basotti. And uh, there were like um, people, about 100 people from all over the world, from at least 15 countries, mm -hmm. uh, who attended this caravan to support Donbas people, uh, to deliver some aid, and uh, also for international solidarity. Which aid do you mean? Uh, humanitarian aid? Yes, also. What and medical, exactly? Medical... M uh, medi medicines, medicines, yes? Medicines, yeah. Or something else? Uh, we mainly brought medicine and, of course, some clothes and... Uh, for children or for all people? Um, medicine for, for all people and... Uh, I mean clothes. clothes. Yeah, also for all people. Uh, you have uh, already told me the attitude of German people uh, to Kyiv, to Kyiv authorities. How many people are against uh, majority citizens uh, of Germany? Um, not many. The problem is that uh, the German mass media is uh, constantly spreading lies and propaganda about what, about what is going on over here. Mm -hmm. For example, they tell that uh, this is an intervention of the Russian army or something like that. So the majority of German people still does not know what is going on over here and they think like that uh, there is some kind of Russian uh, invasion, but it's obviously not true and I saw it with my own eyes. Uh, does it happen because of uh, mass media propaganda? Yes, it is uh, mainly because of the mass media propaganda because they are not uh, showing the real situation what is going on uh, but there is also a lot of people who are um, informed and they are informed uh, via internet and they don't uh, believe the German mass media so um, they stage demonstrations in about like 200 cities of Germany to support um, uh, the people over here and to protest against uh, a possible upcoming war between uh, Western countries and um, Novorossiya or uh, Russia also. Mm -hmm. yes. That's great, Tobias. And what about uh, Novorossiya? Many, do many people know about uh, Novorossiya, Donetsk uh, People's Republic? I think uh, there is still not, not that much known about these countries and um, I would be very pleased to tell the German people more about what is going on over here because mm -hmm. um, they don't know that uh, over here there is uh, like a real state. I see that you know many things, uh, historical events of Novorossia. You have uh, the book uh, of a famous author Cornillo. Can you show it? Um, what can you say about this book? Um, did you read it? Did you know this author before? Presented to me from uh, Vladislav, the official deputy from uh, Cities Council. And um, I already knew about this book, but I didn't have the pleasure before to have it. And uh, it's actually very interesting. Um, I knew about this book and uh, about the history of uh, Donetsk uh, Republic. And um, it is very interesting because uh, the German uh, ordinary workers have uh, a long history back uh, to solidarity with uh, the republics over here. It was um, before about 100 years when uh, German coal miners came over here to the Donetsk Rock Soviet Republic mm -hmm. to um, to find out what was going on over there because before 100 years there was also a lot of propaganda but uh, the ordinary workers did not believe the propaganda and they ca came to see with their own eyes. Uh, Tobias, uh, did you visit uh, events, magnificent events uh, in our region, in our republic dedicated uh, to the Victory Day and uh, to the Day of Republic which was held yesterday? Yes, of course. Um, I attended uh, the Victory Day in Lugansk, mm -hmm. the parade. 
and uh, it was pretty amazing to see um, how the state developed and uh, how things were built up. It was very impressive for me. And um, I also visited the uh, referendum anniversary, uh, anniversary, anniversary yesterday and um, it was also pretty amazing to see so many uh, people. You visited the anniversary of referendum here in Donetsk, yes? Yes, yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are in the Lenin Square, did you see the parade? Yes, I was in Lenin Square seeing the parade and it was uh, pretty amazing to see so many people um, r coming over here to Donetsk from the whole Republic and uh, they were at the demonstration. It was, I think, one of the biggest demonstrations I have ever seen and it was, uh, I was also very pleasure to see um, how many people celebrated uh, the new Republics over here. And uh, when you came here, you can say uh, that uh, it's a lie when uh, Kiev uh, mass media, Ukraine mass media says that people uh, do not want to celebrate, uh, that they were forced, uh, they, uh, it was dangerous for them. Was it dangerous to celebrate? And uh, people, uh, did they want really? I, I have been um, to many celebrations in the last days and mm -hmm. I've been, I've seen every time where I've been, I've seen so many happy people and it's pretty amazing still for me to see all this and I, I don't feel like anybody ever over here has been forced to do that or something like that. This is, this is absolute nonsense and um, I think uh, that people here are very safe but um, of course there is the problem that uh, the Ukrainian army still keeps uh, attacking the cities, destroying houses, dest uh, killing people so this is of course a big problem but uh, the safety within uh, is very good. Really lucky and, and happy to to um, build their own state, a state um, where it's that is really being ruled by the people and not by some some kind of oligarchs mm. or some millionaires, some, some uh, millionaires like one percenters of the society, but yes. really ordinary people who build up the state, and this is a pretty amazing feeling. Uh, yes, Tobias, and uh, are you going uh, to arrange uh, uh, rallies, um, campaigns in your country and uh, in our country in the future? Of course I'm going to do that. Um, we already did in the past and we will continue in the future but uh, we are also thinking about sending some people over here to um, make a German program or something like that to tell people also in Germany what is going on because um, in Germany still people think that there's uh, the Russian army or something like that over here but it's ordinary people, ordinary people from former Ukraine and uh, now Novorossiya which took up arms to um, to protect their lives and uh, to build this new state and uh, this is uh, something uh, that you can see when you just uh, go on the streets and you see it everywhere. You return back uh, to Germany, what are you going to do? Will you show these events which you saw your own eyes uh, in the Donetsk People's Republic and Lugansk People's Republic? Yes, um, of course. The next uh, weekend after I return I'm directly uh, going to attend um, a forum to uh, sh um, explain people what is going on over here mm -hmm. and uh, to tell them about my travel and what I've seen with my own eyes. So um, I think uh, it's very important to, to tell people in Germany what is really going on and um, I'm about to do that and we will also do more in the future to help people over here to raise money, um, to raise help and also public support from our country. Uh, yes, I agree with you. I think uh, that we are all very thankful to you for your aid, uh, for your support and uh, for your ideas uh, for future plans. Thank you, Tobias. I want also to thank you because um, I think it is very important to um, struggle against imperialism and fascism seen in my life and uh, I'm very grateful for the people over here um, that they are steadfast and um, that they are um, standing against NATO imperialism. Большое спасибо. Да здравствует Донецкая Народная Республика. Да здравствует Новороссия. Thank you. Uh, Tobias Fenik was invited to the program The Way of the Truth of Novorossiya TV.